Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. I am a part of the Teach Now program and I have been living and teaching in South Korea since 2013. 2020 has been a really difficult time for my students and students worldwide really as they adjust to online learning and drastically less face-to-face -face interactions. What I've been using for videos in my classroom is actually the Animoto Slideshow Creator. When my students are allowed to come to school, they are basically quarantined to their homeroom classes. If you know anything about Korean classrooms, many of them tend to be void of any personality in a bid to keep students focused. It's a stark contrast to my English classroom, where I proudly display my students' work on the bulletin boards. After completing a major project, one of their favorite things to do is to come into class early to see all of their friends' submissions hanging on the walls. Unfortunately, due to the strict rules, they can no longer come to my classroom. What I've done to remedy this problem is to create a slideshow of my students' work using the Animoto Slideshow Video Creator to upload to my virtual classroom. It is one of my preferred methods of using remote learning videos to kind of memorialize the hard work my students have done. It makes my students feel celebrated and special and bridges the gap that we all feel when we're apart. Another benefit of making a video slideshow of your students' assignments is that it can easily be shared with their parents. Parents are always curious about what their children are learning, especially these days when online teaching methods are quite new. Going the extra mile to make a video slideshow for them shows that you care about your students. Using the Animoto Slideshow Creator is easy, though you will need to create an account. Don't worry, it's completely free and you can gain access to a lot of different video template styles depending on what you are creating. After you create an account, simply take a photo of each student's assignment, then choose the template and upload the photos into the slideshow creator. You can add text over each image to give a brief explanation, write the student name, or even just a nice comment. There will be a watermark in the top right corner, so keep that in mind when you place the text. Don't forget to add some music. When I'm finished, I upload my video bulletin board to my Google Classroom for each of my classes to enjoy. And that's it! I hope you found this a useful video tool to implement in your distant learning classroom.